LSU Tigers taking on the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Two 6-0 teams who survived overtime games in the semifinals last night. Brad Johansson alongside Pete Gillen. Good to have you with us. Should be a great game. Up-tempo. Both these teams like to get up and down the floor. Demon Deacons with the first possession. LSU starts out man-to-man, -man, which they play 95% of the time. Musius, deep on the wing, won't go. Vincent out high, the big man, Ethan Reed. LaRavia with a help defense. Darius Day's got the roll. Day's got the roll. F. Degree was ready to tap it in, but the rim was kind to Darius Day's. Williamson corner, stepped on the line, turnover. Will Wade leading the way for the Tigers in his fifth year at LSU. 89 and 40. And Steve Forbes. Welcome him back home. Spent two years here coaching at this college. He's in his second season at Wake Forest. And he has got a squad that it may surprise a lot of people in the ACC, Pete. He will. He will pick preseason 13th. They're much, much better than that. I think one of the surprise teams in the country right now, Brad. Good look down low, Murray. Help from Alondis Williams on defense. Efton Reed! He's an old school big man. Laid back, he shoot the jump hook, take the shot. LaRavia gave it out to Dallas Walton on the oop. Walton will go to the line. Ball screen, they both go with the dribble. Pence and fires it inside. Efton Reed with the finish. The big fella, only a freshman. Like to buy stock in him, Brad. Going to be a heck of a player. Yeah, he is Tigers. going to be a player, no question about it. And as you said, that's what they say. This is a true center in the old sense of the word. Yeah, he's not going to shoot just 25 footers. Right? He'll go inside, he'll shoot the jump hook. He'll pick and roll, he'll pick and pop. He's versatile. Dallas Walton. The transfer makes one of two. Darius Days on that foul. Days on the wing. LaRavia jump stop. And Days has got it. He struggled last night. Only eight points. Yeah. And already with four. He took some tough shots, Brad, as you know. You know, he forced things a little too anxious. First team preseason, all SEC. Darius Days. Williamson on the jump stop. Corner, LaRavia. He can score from all over on the floor. Played 41 minutes last night with 17 points. Terrific player. Transfer from Indiana State. Fundamentally sound. It's like all state. You're in good hands when he has the ball. And we're in good hands, Brad, as long as you're here. No, I'm a human turnover. I'm sitting next to you. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, we get an extra bonus. Days from deep. That one won't go. LSU's first miss. Arabia down the wall. Williamson from deep. Can't get it to go and days the rebound. Days. Too long again. Tapped out rebound on the floor. Pinson and Musius. All right, Pete, take us to the keys to the game here. Well, for LSU, pound the boards. They do a great job in the offensive glass and get points off turnovers. They play tremendous defense. Wake Forest, it's Alonzo's world. Leading scorer, tremendous player. Transfer from Oklahoma and ball security. Take care of the rock. 
because LSU is going to try to get a ton of turnovers and score off those turnovers. All right. This jump ball stays with LSU. Murray trying to work on Alondis Williams. Can't find the range deep. Wilkinson the rebound. Can't find the touch off the glass. And Musius knocked it off Wilkinson. It will go Wake Forest way. in the other way. He lost it out of bounds. A little sloppy start in the first four minutes. Both teams playing hard, playing for a championship, so they're pressing a little bit. LSU goes to their 2-2-1, three-quarter court zone press. They're doing that now to have their defense get their offense going. They love making steals and scoring and transition off their steals. And they turned it back over. Hey, for those of you watching on CBSSports.com, our streaming coverage is going to conclude after this commercial break. We will continue on CBS only because of the pandemic. So it's nice to be back on the coast. Glad to have you with us. Eric Gaines comes in. He's an energy man, Pete. Yeah, tremendous. Another turnover. That's all we're yeah. seeing in the early going. Yeah. Now he's a high risk, high reward type guy. Something's gonna happen. Might be good. Might be bad. Might be a home run. He might hit the maintenance man in the back of the head. But something's gonna happen. <laughs> LSU starting three of three. They have missed their last four shots. They've come up with two turnovers and Wake Forest with three. Yep. LSU still in there. Two two on it. What they love to do: steal the ball, try to score, and transition now. Just back to back to back, and we finally got a foul. This one will be on Brandon Murray as Alondis Williams was heading to the rim. <laughs> Gaines picks up his first. LSU has a tremendous bench. Their bench won the game for them last night. Gaines and Easton were fabulous. <laughs> and yet another turnover. And this one knocked out of bounds for another turnover. Back to back to back to yep. back. Yep. LSU forces 20 turnovers a game. Sometimes the game looks like a bakery. Nothing but turnovers. Stayed in their press. See the numbers bigger than we've got on the scoreboard. Inside look. That's an easy one and a high percentage shot. Yeah. Good look from Hildreth, the kid from England. Looked like he landed awkwardly after that dunk. Struggling a little bit. Bad shot. Got a second chance. Can't get the roll. Laravia has it. It was a nice pass. 2-1-2 to kick it there. Nice skip pass in the side. Nice finish inside for the big guy. Walton. Walton looks like he came down on a shoe of oh Wilkinson. Still in, hobbling just a little bit. Hildreth into the paint, corner, went for the triple, can't get it. East in the rebound. Deep, Gaines is short. 
Happy to run. Londis Williams threw it out to Hildreth. He has to save. Gets it down to Laramia. Demon Dinkins back on top by two. LSU's going to take good shots. Sometimes they get too anxious. Take it in if they double team, kick it out. Ethan Reed can't get the roll. Tip comes back out to Gaines, who lets fly. That's no good. It seems like if it feels like leather, they're going to shoot it. I mean, they feel a little more patient. They have missed their last nine field goal attempts. Yeah. That one knocked out of bounds. We'll stay with Wake Forest. Hildreth gets the ball in the corner. Ravia, nice cut. Uses his body as a weapon. Nice finish for the big guy. LaRavia, the transfer out of Indiana State. And you watch this kid. He's got great footwork. Tremendous footwork. And, uh, very smart player. You do it from all different areas. Score inside, hit the three. Mid-range. Uh, Williams just threw it up. LaRavia's body uh, in the middle of all of that, and he got fouled. Yep. Williams got in there. It looks like he got hit on the way in. That's Steve Forbes. He's won wherever he's been. From Tremendous go. Pinson picks up the foul. Hildreth collects, attacks, and offensive foul. It is a sloppy start. Nice penetration. Boom. Looks like a, a rugby game, it looks at times. Body's flying. Well, they play a lot of rugby in England, and Hildreth may have had participated in uh, a few of those games. It's been more than five minutes since LSU has made a field goal. That one dribbled off LaRavia. He collects. Whit will come the other way. Williams to the rim. Oh. He can't get the roll. Saves. Whit, baseline. C in the game in the middle. And he'll launch from three and hit. Nice pick and pop. A 10 0 run for the Demon Deacons. Easton. That's way off. But the rebound, Alex Fudge can't get it to go. There is a lid on the rim down here, trying to get it ahead to the Arabia, and he got fouled. Hadim C coming over from Ole Miss. He's a big 2009 season. You take a look at some of his numbers. I understand that the NCAA investigation into potential recruiting violations, that's still ongoing. Wade being interviewed a little earlier this month in that case, which began with allegations stemming from the 2017 federal corruption scandal. That's ongoing with no timetable as to where it stands. And yet another turnover as we continue the action. LSU has really struggled. Last field goal over six and a half ago. They have missed their last 12 attempts, Pete. They're forcing it, Brad. Right now, they're too anxious. They're trying to go one-on-one -on -one too much. Swing the ball side to side, ball movement and player movement. Good look. That's an easy one. Make a couple of passes. So Efton Reed ends that drive. And after all of that time, they're still within three because Wake Forest hasn't done that much better. Nice pass inside. Finish. Instead of a 2 2 1 press, attacking it with 2 1 2. Musius is short on his. Is it a shot you're going to give up? Zone pressure, you're going to get corner jump shots. Go inside to Reed. Let the big dog eat. Get it to the big fella. He says, I'll be the big fella. 
Tari Eason, who was big last night, 20 points. He was great last night, 20 points, 9 rebounds. Tari Eason, transfer from Cincinnati. Williamson to the paint, to the rack, had it blocked. This is where LSU's at their best, the transition. And Eason dribbled it off his uh, leg. Got to bring the ball with you. He was there, but no basketball. Lazy pass, that almost got picked up. Wake 4 of 14, did along with seven turnovers. LaRavia from deep. High archer won't go. Easy rebound for Pinson ahead of the pack. Eason got fouled and go to the line. <laughs> nice rebound. Pinson gets it. He looks up, throws it ahead. Eason with the pump fake. LaRavia with the foul. Great That's off. That's what they do. They love to run the Tigers. At their best in transition. Eason was great at the line last night. 10 of 12 free throws. Yep. Yep. And and they shoot a half court offense. They're not patient enough, Brad. They're just too anxious. Substitutions now. Brandon Murray will come back in. Yep, staying in there, 2-2-1, two, two, before the court's own press. Got to attack it to score. Walton, the cut from Williamson, had it swatted away from Reed. Tilda with the drive, three men on him. Can't find a way and throws it away. Ooh. To the rim, Pitson had it blocked. Fudge saves it off Musius. It's not pretty. This game, the copy of this game is not going to be in the Louvre in Paris. I know that. Shot fake. Hildreth goes in. Got a bunch of guys around him. Bull. Speeded him up. Young man from England going against these athletes. Eason will sit. Pinson in the corner. Murray lets fly. Top of the key. Barry's. Very good shooter. Brandon Murray's only a freshman. Steve Forbes wants a timeout. Take you into the studio. Latest college football headlines. Our team of experts highlighting all the gridiron action around the nation. They offer matchup analysis. Catch inside college football. It's coming up on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Now the shoes stay in their full court pressure defense. That's what they do best, Brad, is their full court pressure. They create 20 turnovers a game, which is amazing. And has led them to a 9-0 run and a four-point lead. Wake has missed its last six shots. Musius, half hook. That won't fall. Fudge not the a, rebound. Not a good shot. The shot selection is horrendous. Both teams. Pinson from deep. Yeah. They're streaky. Last night they were 4 for 24 for three-point land. As you know, as a math major, 16.7%. It's not real good, but they're streaky. They get hot any time, the Tigers. They're going to keep shooting. Yeah, no question about it. When in doubt, LSU shoots, but they always stay in doubt. Walton, baseline. Four on the shot clock, and Williamson lets fly, and that's long. Walton keeps it alive. Laravia in trouble on the baseline. Cross court. Hildreth in the corner. They are struggling to get into offense. Musius going to have to let fly. Air ball. The Tigers are flying. Streaky team. When they're hot.
We'll wait. Go we'll fired up at that timeout. You see the Division I ranks. Steals per game. They are third. And they are getting it done tonight. They're on a 15 0 run over the last 4 13. Dallas Walton steps back. LaRavia the rebound. Whit from three. Got it. That won't go. Walton fights with Eason for the rebound, and it will stay with the Demon Deacons. Yeah, right now they're speeding up Wake Forest. Wake Forest got to slow down, be patient, swing the ball side to side. They're too anxious. Quickness and athleticism, LSU is really frustrating the Demon Deacons. Hadim C in, he'll inbound with Walton, LaRavia, Witt, and Alondis Williams back on the floor. If I'm Wake Forest, I'm going inside to LaRavia. You can score, get to the free throw line. The mismatch, Walton's got a little guy on him. Get it to the big fella. And they will call this one on the little guy. They got Eric Gaines. Game second. Not happy with the call. Nope. Look at that. Started four for ten. Zero oh for their last eleven. So you're missing shots. You got to go inside, Brad. Get the ball inside to the big dog. Let him eat. Get it to him. Can't get it in the him. post. It's a lost start. Turnover for Wake Forest. That's what the Tigers, they live and die with their steals and turnovers and deflections. Eason got fouled. That Paul Alondis Williams on that. <laughs> Fuzz will sit. Darius Day has had a rest. He's back on the floor. Darius got to calm down a little bit. Too anxious. Pinson short. It will go to Wake Forest. Can we freeze this here now with the uh, attack? Williams out high. Gets some interest. He works on that shot every day. 28 foot of bank. Desperately needed it. Days can't get the roll. And Walton will do it on the other end. Alondis Williams. The oath of Arabia. Here come the Demon Deacons. They're not making shots. Push your fast break. We'll get the ball inside to the big fellas. Little 5-0 run of their own to get back within five. They get the ball to Easton now, second leading scorer, and they uh, throw it away. When all else fails, just take it deep and go off the glass. Banks, we love when the banks are open. LaRavia up, up, and away. Nice pass. Nice pass, nice finish by LaRavia. Boy, big guys work hard. Get the ball to Walton inside. Laravia baseline, jump stop. Oh, he had that one knocked away by Elton Reed. 12 on the shot clock. C inbounds to Laravia.
six on the shot clock. Laravia making something happen. Can't get it to go, but keeps it alive. Walton in deep. Yep. Laravia again taps out. Wit with a jump shot. Had it blocked. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And Walton is Walton down with his ground. left knee. Uh-oh. Time out. <clears throat> oh, boy. Doesn't look good. <clears throat> Pounding the floor in pain. Take a look at what happened. Oh. Free throw shoot. We'll shoot for the Demon Deacons. First miss on the year. Got the second one of two. And Wake Forest will get the ball. Now down four. Both teams have made six field goals. LSU shooting 34%. 23% for Wake Forest. Yeah. Well, credit to defense. It's sloppy, but tremendous athletes playing very hard, very physically. So what do you got to do? Be a little more patient offense. Go inside. Try to get to the free throw line. Nice Same double team. Trapped. Laravia. Jake Laravia seems to bail them out of so many seemingly impossible situations. Great pass. The Ravy really moves well without the basketball, Brad. Question. Days, don't force it now. Don't force it. All right, nice patience. There is the foul on the Ravia. This time he's a little more patient. Darius Davis. Darius stays here, backing his man in. Back his man in. Boom. Reads it. Takes middle. Comes baseline. That's LaRavia's second. He'll take a seat. And look who's back in. Dallas Walton. So that's great news. Yeah. Days on the three-point play. He's got seven. Tari Eason back on the floor for the Tigers. As is Alex Fudge to go with Brandon Murray. Reed and Pinson. Williams steps inside the arc, still can't get it to go, and Eason the rebound. That's not his strength. Williams can make it, Brad, but that's not his strength. His strength is slash into the basket, try to get to the cup. Offensive foul. They'll call this one on Brandon Murray. Very physical game. It's not pretty, but whoever wins will be like winning the Mona Lisa. You know what I mean? Beating a big time opponent, ACC against SEC. Another turnover. Pinson running the other way. Got stopped by Musius. Step back. Murray in and out. Won't go. Big rebound. Alex Fudge in the tip is an offensive goal. Ten. Tari Eason tipped it in. It won't count. Yep. Good call by John Higgins. Excellent official. Tari Eason, best rebounder for LSU. Nine a game. He's too anxious then. Offensive goaltending. I think that one would have fallen too without his tap. Nice soft rips. Chad rip like that when I could. Williams with the left. That's what he's got to do. Go to the cup. Boy, he's strong. He looks like a, a defensive back for the Green Bay Packers. Murray into the 
paint on Mucius. Can't find the shot. Easton, five on the shot clock. Step back, can't get the roll. We'll go to Wake Forest. Williams going to the cup. Really strong going to the basket. Deacon's trying to cut into a three-point deficit. Williamson. And Fudge stepped on the line. Turnover after turnover after turnover. Williamson was shooting 53% from downtown coming into this tournament, Brad, as you know, but struggled against tough defense athletic players. Williams threw it away. Not pretty. This will not go into the archives. 2021. But a win's a win. No such thing as an ugly win. When we get to win, it's going to be a stat. Easton from deep. Six point lead for LSU. As we approach one minute left in the first half of the championship game of the Emerald Coast Classic. Williams, the drive got swatted by Easton. Easton from downtown, pick and pop, didn't score inside, he goes outside. He goes offense, defense, Easton, nice come behind. Blocked, Londis Williams is shot, so Easton doing on both sides. He was MVP last night, Brad. Well, here we go again. Easton's out front. It was tipped by Williams, it will stay with LSU. Pinson is so anxious, you know, he just, great steal. Lost the pass. Jeff Anderson had it one way, said it was LSU ball. Higgins came up and said, nope, I saw the tip. Steve Forbes says, no way, you got it wrong. But it will stay with LSU. Efton Reed working on Walton, goes left hand, gets the roll. They get two more of that. Get the ball to the big fella. 29.5 left in the first half. Highly recruited. Five star player and uh, terrific player. I'd like to see him get the ball a little bit more, Brad. Well, that you know? coming off a turnover as well. 12 wake turnovers have led to 12 LSU points. Yep. You mentioned before LSU creates 20 turnovers per game by their opponents. Here we go. To Bakery. Three on one. Murray to finish. That's right, their best transition of steals. It's the best defensive team LSU has had in a long time. They used to try to just outscore you. Now they try to beat you with their defense. Here we go. Corner Musius. Couldn't get it before the buzzer sounds. LSU on a run. They close it on a 7-0 run, just as Wake Forest. Wake Forest, Coach. Amazing. They're shooting 53% coming into this weekend. So great defense by LSU. Give them tons of credit. What Wake's got to do now is slow down, share the ball, swing it side to side, get the ball inside to LaRavia, all right, and, and try to play some good defense and score in transition. Alondis Williams basically disappeared in the first half. Efton Reed. Get it to the big dog. Let the big dog eat. He's only a freshman. Doing a heck of a job for the Tigers. First five minutes in every game, as you know, Brad, are important. Especially for the Demon Deacons to try to get back into this game. But they average 86 points a game, so this game is far, far from over. Oh, 
Williams one of six in the first half for two points. Witt on the baseline, and they will call an offensive foul on Witt. Swing it. And a drive. Pinches, that was close. That could have been a block. He was moving. I call that a block. Horst thought he was moving. Yeah. Tough job refereeing. These guys are doing an excellent job, but it's tough. There is Days. Great defense by Wake Forest. Wet. Oh my God. To Laravia, he needed to be about two and a half feet taller. Murray can't get it to go. Shot selection this game is, is not that great. Yeah, the second half's not starting out any prettier. No, no, no. It's again. Wanda so Williams dishing to Laravia. Saves back to Musius, and he can't get it. But Williams will. When you're not making shots, you got to go inside, you got to drive the basketball. Brandon Murray on the other end from Pinson. 2 2 1 zone press by LSU. That's what they do best. Dallas Walton from three, that won't go. Days will launch. He's nowhere close from behind. No, he's not. The last two days. He's rushing. He's playing way too fast. He's pressing a little bit, I think, Red. Darius Day, first team preseason, all SEC. A little too anxious. Got to calm down, go inside, try to get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the basket. Reed working on Walt. Good footwork. Oh, the banks. We love when they're open. 725 in Florida, Niceville, Florida. The banks are open, ladies and gentlemen. Make a deposit, get some interest, don't hesitate. Williams baseline. He's working days, got it back out to LaRavia, and he'll let fly, and got it. Jake LaRavia is keeping the Demon Deacons in it. Got to get some help. The switch now by Wake, Pinson can take him. Murray with the floater won't go. Get hit, foul, foul! Walton gets out of it. The refs want to go home and see Lauren on reruns. That was a foul. They'll finally call one here. Get it to the big dog. Fake, shake, fake, up and under. We love the banks when they're open. Late at night. Williams kicked it to LaRavia from way downtown. Bang, nothing but net. Inside, outside. LaRavia, he can play. So both Reed and LaRavia, the first two in double figures. Yep. Murray picks up the foul. Yep. Tough to get to the rim now. Alondis Williams, but he does best with the size and length and athleticism of LSU. Williams into the oh, what a move. glass. Don't be so mean. Don't play so rough. That was unbelievable. Pinson quickly the other way. He can't get it to go, but a foul's called. Londis Williams driving to the bat, spinning, wheeling, dealing, up and under and through. Great move. Well, he's something attacking the basket. Transfer from Oklahoma. Averaging 19 a game. Fabulous player. I think he's one of the best first year transfers brand in the country. What time? You know what I mean? The, well, we saw him last night. He likes the pressure. And yep. right now they're they're down by nine, down ten. Yep. Got to have him. And when they had to have him last night, he finished with 24. You're right. And he gets seven of those 24 in overtime. You're right, Brad. You sound like a coach. <laughs> right? When things get tough, he gets tougher. Not going to schedule you now. I'm just trying to sound like you, coach. Don't call me if you need a game. Cause <laughs> the ball team that I coach, we don't want to play you <laughs> Pinson gets them both, the lead's 11. 2-2-1 two, two, press. Pinson wow. got it again. And the dish! Oh! That one! Oh. Tip won't go! Like volleyball, they keep coming at you. Wave, look at this! Wave, wave! One. Foul! A 
tell you, it's tough referee in each game. Reps are doing a good job, but it's it's brutal. Laravia got his second, and he thought he got fouled. Look, he's smack, he's holding, he's, he's fouling him. It's jumping so fast, he can't see it. Nice pass, can't finish by uh, Gaines. Oh, goodness. He steals it again, pits it, unbelievable. Oh, my God. Brad, it's getting so physical, I'm going to put a helmet on myself. All it's right. getting tough. I'll, I'll, I'll protect you. Third foul on Laravia, that's important. At the 16-15 mark. Witt will sit down. Wilkinson back in. They'll leave LaRavia in with three fouls. Yeah, well, you're down. 12 points now. Could be 13, so you know. Which again, you got to be careful, but right now he's their glue. Efton Reed sits. Tari Eason back in for LSU. LSU stays in there. 2-2-1 two, two, defense. Last few years, they didn't play great team. They just ran out and scored. This year, defense is what LSU does best. Credit coach Will Raid. Will Raid's doing a good job with the crew. Playing hard. This guy, he's a nightmare. This guy's a nightmare on the ball. Gates. Makes life miserable. Move. Mono Ginobili move. Two on the shot clock. Got bailed out. This, this game's intense. No place for the week at heart. They're going at each other. ACC, SEC, baby. Stauber, which is a uh, career high. Going to be fun to watch. You can do it all right here on CBS Sports Network. Tremendous player. They're trying to find a successor to James Booknight, who, as you know, was a lottery pick for the Huskies. Could be Sinogo. Great start to the season. Going to get this guy going. Damian Williamson. Hildreth back on the floor to try and do some ball handling. Swing it out. And they did. Find the open man. That's the guy you say has to get going. Can't get it to fall. It will be LSU ball. He's a very good three-point shooter. Just a little bit too quick. He's not getting a roll. His confidence a little bit shaken, maybe. Wake's got to do with the defense. Now they got to get some steals, some blocks, get out in transition, get some baskets in their transition in the open court. to the floor with days both of them slow to get up right. and Arabia trying to hit Williams down that got knocked away quick hands yes. LSU I think Darius Days makes his mind up he's going to shoot it before he gets it tax great block by Walton here we go up up and away boom nice block by Walton he kept it in bounds Bill Russell used to do that many years ago for the Celtics block and keep it in bounds Alondis Williams buries the triple. Wake Forest needed it desperately. That's your guy. You like him, don't you? You want to put him in your suitcase. He can bring him back anywhere. to Cincinnati. Yep. Wow. On the drive, Eric Gaines will go to the line. Gaines, a fabulous defensive player. So, nice crossover move. It goes by Williams. Gaines with the finish. Terrific move. Only a sophomore. Lightning quick. Great defensively. A little offense, too, for the young man. All of 150 pounds. That's yeah. probably with uniform wet. <laughs> now he's a drink of water. He finishes the three-point play. But it's not the size of the tiger to fight. The size of the heart. He's got a big heart, Gaines. Get some hops too, Brad. Chin up on the rim. And Higgins will call a technical on him climbing that rim. Good call. He did a, a pull up. Good call. Yes. That's what I do when the ball is at home. Look, it's. Oh, you can't do that. You can't do a chin up or a pull up. Good call. Williamson gets the first. And the shoot didn't like it, but that's man. a good call. The lead is 14, and Wake Forest is in danger zone at the 1437 yep. mark. Right. Right. 
That's Eric Gaines, high risk, high reward. And Great. he'll sit Gaines down. Yep. Brandon Murray will come back in. He gives him energy, doesn't he, Brad? Yeah, he does. Eric Gaines. Good death by LSU. They got attacked. Go to LaRavia inside. He's got a small guy on him. Pitson, get it to LaRavia. Walton, the push. Can't get it. Kilrith keeps it alive on the floor. LSU comes up with it and running. Pitson with the trailer. Aeson gives it to Fudge. Trouble brewing. Yep. Slow down now. Go to pace down if you're weak forward. Williams oh. going to take it himself and we'll go to the line. Yep. Push it in transition. Pins a nice bounce pass. Nice over there. Excellent finish inside. Great offense. Fudge with the finish. Alondis heads to the line. Tell you, Bruce Springsteen, the boss, would love to watch these guys. Born to run. The Tigers are born to run, this team. Williams now with eight points in the second half to give him in double figures. Go with five rebounds. They're going to need a lot more. Yeah. Now, still an eternity to go. Long way to go. Wake's got to knock down some threes and get some stops. Gaines back on the floor. Just a quick sit. He should get the advantage. Much bigger than Williamson. <laughs> oh, the tip from Fudge. Last night they had 17 offensive rebounds. The Tigers are great on the glass. Williamson wants to go one on five. Williamson, great move. Gains the other way with the They push it. Wow. Nice pass. Penetrates up, up, and away. Great pass. Fudge. Fudge is doing it. And they got LaRavia on the foul, which is his fourth. So they did add a technical. We'll get an explanation, hopefully, from hopefully you heard that from John Gaffney. Unsportsmanlike conduct on Fudge. Yep. So Williamson will take two, and then they'll go back and Fudge and will shoot yep. his foul shot. Yeah, it was Tony. After he made the dunk, he looked him in the eye and uh, gave him some brief good call by the official. Now, point of interruption goes back down the other end. We continue from there. Free throw for Fudge. So a couple of technicals from LSU. Yeah. After great plays. Well. Keeping Wake Forest in it. Yeah. You're emotional, which is good, but you got to control your emotions. Fudge with the last six for LSU, looking for point number seven in a row. How about the bench for LSU? Fudge, Gaines, and Eason. Pretty darn good. Those three guys off the bench. 
It's start for a lot of teams. Again. Right. There's Murray. Terrific pressure. They got Fudge on the foul. He's third now. Williams working on Fudge. Hildreth with the head fake. Jump stop. Try to get it off the glass. Kept alive. Williams. He can't hit it. He can't hit it. See? He can't get it. And Days comes down with a rebound. And will launch. Oh. Dagger. A 17-point lead for LSU, their largest. Bench points, 21. LSU, wait, three. Williamson. Uh, Williamson. Wants it again. Darius stays leading score for the Tigers. Way downtown. He shoots it way downtown. Bang with the pull up technical, but it basket counts. So 13 steals tonight for the season, 12 and a half. Third best in the country. This is a different LSU team, Brad, as you know. Used to be just offense. And that has led to 21 fast break points. 18 turnovers now for Wake Forest. Williamson keeping a minute. Yep, six straight points. When I coach, some of my players thought defense was a town in South America. Some guys played it. Not everybody. That's why I'm on Boot Hill with you. Uh, <laughs> I like it. Oops, two three zone. Eason, little push. You gotta come up. The middle guy in the zone gotta come up to help. Staying in his the press. Another strip. Gaines. Gaines is a complete nightmare on the ball. He makes life miserable for the ball handler. So quick, athletic, and long. Musius, that's deep. They can't hit threes. Nope. They're speeding him up, playing too fast. Hildreth knocked that away. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Change is tough. He's so quick. the bench guys gains and fudge to hang out together Come off the bench great chemistry between those two Williamson how about him eight points in a row for the demon Deacons little guy timeout with 10 16 to go full timeout 15 point lead for LSU hey, we can't get a cup of coffee 25 to 3 with the bench we got great technical crew on our bench those guys are mathematicians that's a good thing. Yeah, because I was experimental admission at college. Was it good? <laughs> LSU has hit eight of their last ten, while Wake has gone four of their last ten. This game's not over yet. Once again, LSU streaky from downtown. It's all about Wake's defense. Got to get some stops, some deflections, get out in transition. Got to knock down a couple of threes. Seen a lot of comebacks these two days here, Brad. Lucas Taylor in for Wake Forest, the guy who just does not get minutes. He's going to get minutes now. Well, when the team's struggling, they got to get a, a little adrenaline. Well, his adrenaline cost him a foul on the first time down. Gaines can really penetrate, boy. He's lightning quick. Easton and Fudge will sit. Brandon Murray will come back on the floor with Pinson, Reed, Davis, and Gaines, who makes them both. 
LSU stays in there. 2-2-1, two, two, three-quarter goes zone press. Going to get deflection. Here we go. Turnover. Williams says that was tipped by Gaines, but I'm not sure it was. Just an unforced error. So. Yeah. Once again, he, he just didn't concentrate. Dribbled, ball pressure, and he just threw it. Didn't read the defense. And Steve Forbes says, come over by me and yeah. take a seat. Hildreth will come in for him. Let's get a little rest. Okay. Londis Waves, great player. Can't do it by himself. Got to contain this guy off the dribble now. Gaines is lightning quick. Reed. Deacon's just struggling to get into any real offensive set. Yeah. Right at the defense by LSU. The late. Look at this. Threw it away again. That's Gaines. Oh, here we go. Well, Williamson got fouled. I think it was Efton Reed who crashed into him. As he grabs his right shoulder. Physical, physical game, Brad. Sloppy, sloppy game. Yeah, it is. But both teams are playing really hard, very athletic, very strong. First half, Arabia was great for Wake. This half, it's been Williamson stepping up. So Williamson will head to the line. He's got 12 on the night. Laravia is still on the bench. He's got four. <laughs> Williamson right now single-handedly keeping the Deacons somewhat close. Down by 16 when I say that. Yep. No, he makes this will be 10 points in the last two and a half minutes. So he's hanging in, but he's got to get some help. It's like Laravia in the first half. Starts with a defense for the Demon Deacons. You got to keep these guys in front of them. Give them a little space. You got to go out the dribble. Gaines. And read the finish. Into Walton. Double team and stripped. Days will save on the floor. Walton's got it. He's out of bounds. It's LSU ball. Gaines attacks the basket. The shot. Captain Reed with the finish. They all come on him. Nobody screens out. Look at it. Diving on the floor. It's like roller derby. Both teams playing hard. Walton's been on the floor a lot tonight. <laughs> Dribble penetration by LSU has been phenomenal. Reed on the block. Got a mismatch. Kick it in, kick it out. It's an air ball. All right. Got a good look. Corner, Taylor, air ball. Goodness, we've had some ugly shooting. And you do know they say this is a shooter's gym. Yeah. Well, tough coming off the bench. Murray gets the roll. And he's a terrific shooter. He's made three threes in a couple of games. Murray can really shoot. Only a freshman. Great future. For the Tigers. Robert McCray now on the floor for the Deacons. They got Murray on the foul. Efton Reed is an old school big guy. Big fella. Big shot. Throw it home, big guy. By LSU. Hands active, physical. Great job defensively. He's got Wake Forest. They're speeding him up. They're playing out of sync. 
credit the defense. Once again, it's a, the best defensive team LSU has had in a long, long time. You bet. I mean, people that follow LSU know the a great offensive team that try to outscore you the last three or four years. But now their defense is their catalyst. That's their, that's their key. Williams from eight of nine from the free throw line. LaRavia back in with four fouls. Murray on the run. Days thought about it. Oh, yeah. When he gets it, he's thinking to shoot it. He's not going to hesitate. McCray on Princeton. And turnover. So a little energy from McCray. Yep. That's what they got to do. Well, Wade, it's nice having those two lightning quick guards. Pinson Pinson and Gaines. Yeah, Gaines comes back in for him. I get it to LaRavia. Let him touch it. Dish. Williamson can't get the roll. Tackle. Yep. LaRavia almost got his fifth. That was close. Got to be careful. Got a big mountain to climb. Gonna need him. Let's fly, Williams. That's deep. That's Gage. High risk, high reward. The stock market. Nice dish from McCray. Williams finishes. We've got a long way to go. Big mountain to climb for Wake Forest, but possible. That's the easy way to go down low. They are 5 of 21 from behind the arc. Yep. Coming into the season this weekend, rather, they were averaging 40% from downtown. Now, playing not as tough competition as the Tigers, but still. Days just backed. Right. Williams all the way to the rim. Two big, strong, physical players. McCray will let fly. And the result is the same. You see the bench, the Wake Forest, and all due respect, is not as strong as LSU's bench. Big difference. Points. Over 20 points for the Tigers, not even 10. For the Demon Deacons off the bench. Gaines, nice defense, Williamson. Step back. That won't go. Walton, another rebound. Push it now. Got a score in transition. Didn't have the numbers. Nope. Williams in trouble baseline. Walton with a dish down low to Arabia, but hands everywhere from LSU. That one swatted away. I saw that one. Talking smack, right? Blocked the shot. Goes in. Oh, got a piece of it. Yeah, he's talking. Look at he's talking. Can't do that. Wilkinson with the technical. Good call. It was obvious, right in front of us. You gotta control your emotions. I'm emotional, but yeah, gotta control it. I said Brandon Murray, it's Milani Wilkinson with the yeah, big Wilkinson stop. with the technical foul. And Williamson just does what he does at the line. Point of interruption now, LaRavia has two. Chip away. It's doable. It's good coaching by Will Wade. Let him sit down, calm down. Some motion. Get it. Still a young man. Not malicious. He just got too carried away with the emotion. His strength is also, as you know, steals, block shots. He's Absolutely. A, that's what he does best. And he did a great block, but he fell. And he overreacted. Well, this is what Wake Forest needs. Points without the clock moving. Yes. Right. 
with the voice of reason in this state. <laughs> Laravia will try to make it four without the clock moving and does. With more pressure. Uh, Demon Deacons. They're within 13. That's Murray. That's short. The, the saying by a guy named Yubi Brown, a great coach in the NBA, press a pressing team. Because they're not used to being pressed. Not the whole game. But a little pressure that time by Wake. But LSU would take a bad shot. Williams got fouled. Going. Here we go. Can we get three overtime games in a row? <laughs> my heart can't take it. My cardiologist said no more overtime. You said you couldn't take it last night. You did. I so finished, if we get one more, you'll be fine. I limped home. I limped home. Would you help me? <laughs> So Williams to the line. He's got 13 on the night. LSU's got to pick their spots now. Time and score. You're up. 12 points could be 11. Push it. You got to lay up. You take it. But you don't have to take a, a jumper like Murray did right there. Not with the, the lead they had. Easton sits. Read in for him. One out of two for Williams. Down 12. A little 9-2 run in the last 314. Now wait, just contain the dribble. Don't play game too tight because he's lightning quick. You go by you like the north wind. Unless you've got two point guards in there now. Pinson and Gaines. Reed working on Walton. Oh! Big fella won the foul. Old school big guy. Jump hook. Most big men don't want to do shoot jump hooks. They want to shoot the three all the time. He's got 14 on the night. Terrific player. Only a baby. Pressure. Foul. Another one. Thank you. Efton Reed got a foul. Efton Reed, the old school young kid in the middle. I'm the rookie. You take me under your wing. It's nice to be on the coast, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful area. Tremendous tournament. Big time teams from great conferences. Great basketball. Officiating has been excellent. The wonderful term. I love being here uh, for the first time. And you took me under your wing. You carried me in. You got back surgery in a couple of weeks from carrying me, but I'll pay for it. I think we'll be okay. You've been fantastic. Been a joy. Laravia looking for his 15th. Got one out of two. The lead is 13 under three and a half. Well, you calm down. Now. Time and score. You're up 13. Make good decisions. All right. Darius Day says, hey, calm down. He's a veteran. He's got a mismatch. I go inside. Darius Days. He's got David Williams on him. Post him up, big guy. Go. Ooh. Williams couldn't get the steal. And gains to the rim. Couldn't get it to foul. Fall, he will go to the line. He's quick. He can work it. And likes to go with the up and under. Just couldn't get the roll. And you saw earlier, Pete, Gaines has some hops. Yes, he's terrific. Tremendous athlete. Looking for his ninth on the night. Got them both. LSU staying in there, full court pressure. Attacking now, attack. Cray baseline. And he got fouled. Stepped out. Did he, did he step out and he qualified. Stepped out. It's another turnover. Thought they had called. Days on the foul, but it was McCray on the line. Games out high. Pinson 
with a career high seven steals tonight for LSU. It has nope. been one robbery after another. Fifteen total steals on the night for the Tigers. Days will inbound again. Pinson. Back out to Gaines. Pinson with five on the shot clock. LaRavia on him. Let's fly. That'll be short. Loose ball. Wake has it. All the way down to the LaRavia. Williamson on the wing. Step back and Reed got it blocked. And then foul. So Williamson heads back to the line. Looking for 19 and 20 on the night. Three and double figures for Wake. Laravia with 15. And Alondis Williams with 14. Williamson good on the first. Looking to make it 12 of 13 from the free throw line. Got it. The lead is 13 at the two minute mark. Crayon Gaines out high. And a foul, they'll get Walton. That will be his second. Hey, for those of you tuning in to the football game between Nevada and Colorado State, you're going to be able to find that online, cbssports.com slash cbssn. As soon as it kicks off, of course, we will get you out there immediately after the conclusion of this game. Pinson to the line for his eighth point on the night. To go along with his seven steals. The U. Walton couldn't finish. And it looks like that may do it. Inside 130 to go. Wake is out of answers. Yep. Too much defense, too much depth, too much athleticism. Tigers played a great game tonight because of their defense, their bench, their toughness, their energy. We said it at the outset, LSU going to go 7-0 and for the first time since the 2008-2009 season. And Pete, you said it over and over. You haven't seen a defensive team from LSU like this one in a long time. A tremendous. What's well, great for the Tigers if they finish it, well, it looks like they will. They have been great in their mid-season tournaments. They haven't won one in a long time. So it's a nice plus for the Tigers to win a championship in the next 118 or so during the season. They're better in my eyes than six plate preseason in the SEC. I know it'll finish, but I think they're better than the six plate. The Banks, I love the Banks here in Florida. In the football game between Nevada and Colorado underway now. It's available at cbssports.com slash cbssn. I'm going to get you out there as soon as this one's over. Final 50 seconds here.
shot clock goes off. 34.2 to go. LSU is going to take the Emerald Coast Classic title. Had the ball knocked away by LSU. LSU thought they had one more turnover. Inbound to LaRavia. From deep, Williamson can't get it. LaRavia tips to Williams. And he can't get it. And thus ended the theme for Wake Forest tonight. Just couldn't get it going from outside. Could not find their offense. LSU, the 2021 Emerald Coast Classic champions. Winners 75 to 61. For Pete Gillen and our...